Chateau uh, La Nert. Uh, with me is uh, Christian Vu. Um, Christian, can you tell me uh, your position at uh, Chateau La Nert? What you exactly doing? Yes, in Chateau La Nert, I am the general manager and I am also the genealogist and winemaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am here since uh, more than four years now. And uh, it's a, a, a very nice and interesting uh, location. Okay, thank you. Can you tell uh, uh, briefly something about uh, uh, Chateau Lanet? Because there's quite a history uh, behind uh, its name, right? Eh? <coughs> yeah, Chateau Lanet is a very uh, old uh, place about vineyard. Uh, the, the oldest records we have uh, uh, are from uh, 1550. And uh, the owners uh, at this time uh, were the Tour de Villefranche family, and they own this place for three centuries. Mm -hmm. And they have built uh, most of the cellars, and they have built the castle during this time. And after that, uh, some uh, it has been some other owners of uh, for Chateau Lanert, and all the family who owns this place was a, a very interesting family who makes a, a lot of work for Lanert, but also for Chateauneuf-du-Pape. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you put together a range of uh, uh, wines, um, all uh, Chateauneuf uh, wines you produce. And uh, the first one is um, the 2010, uh, the white. Yeah, the, okay. the first uh, wine we, we are going to, to taste is uh, our uh, classic mm. cuvée in white, the Chateau Lanert White 2010. Okay. Yeah, just serve you. Thank you. This is um, a wine made uh, with uh, four grape varieties. The um, two main wines are White Grenache and uh, Roussan. They are around 40% each. And then uh, there is uh, some Claret and Bourboulin. Okay. Um, each grape variety brings its uh, own personality and this is a blend where um, you can find a, a very nice uh, complexity. It's a wine who is partially, uh, the winemaking of, is done in, in, uh, in barrel on, of around one third of the cuvee and there is a small aging of this third and then the rest is uh, fermented in, in, in tanks. Okay. It's um, a nice uh, wine with a, a nice fruit and uh, we are very um, attentive to the, the, the time for the picking. We want to pick really at the right time to have a, a nice freshness in the wine, a nice acidity and a nice aromatic expression. Um, all the, the vineyard here in Chateau Lanert is uh, in organic growing and uh, we are working also very um, attentively in the, in, the, in the vineyard, in the, win in the winery, in the same way of the vineyard, to have a, um, a very nice expression, very mm -hmm. ni a lot of richness in our wines. Although it's very young, it's, um, it has a, already an expressive nose eh? and, and, and uh, a, a nice mouth feel but also um, a good freshness, I think partly also coming from the Bourbolenc eh? and it cools down a little bit, yeah. the, the wine. Eh? Yeah, that's true. The, the Bourbolenc is um, our reserve of freshness in the, in the, um, in the blend and uh, it's um, a very interesting um, grape variety for, for that, yes. Okay. The, our white uh, is a wine who is not very well known because the production of white wines in Chateau du Pape is a small production. Mm -hmm. uh, in Lanert uh, is the uh, <coughs> largest production because uh, of the history, because in the past the, the white wines were uh, very um, much appreciated and now we still have a lot of vines in, in white. And, um, and this is a, a wine who can be 
kept for a long time. It's very interesting when it's young, like now, mm -hmm. in, the, in the four or five first years. But it's uh, very interesting too when it is uh, um, um, uh, around eight, ten, fifteen years old, and with a different uh, aromatic character, but with a great complexity yeah. too. Okay, that's great. Um, then we go to your first uh, uh, red wine. Uh, the red the, wine, the red, yeah. yeah. That's a Beauvenir, this, then. The Beauvenir, okay. this is, um, the, this is the, um, Claude de Beauvenir. In fact, uh, Claude de Beauvenir is our uh, top cuvée in white. Mm -hmm. This is um, the 2007 vintage. Um, <coughs> Claude de Beauvenir is a, a, a special vineyard. It's a um, uh, vineyard who is uh, located just uh, in front of the castle. Um, it's um, uh, there is about the grape varieties. This is um, Roussan and Claret. There is a little bit of Bourboulin too, and uh, <coughs> the Bourboulin is not uh, in the in the blend every year. It's uh, most of the the time. This is Roussan and Claret, and. Uh, the particularity is the soil. The soil is uh, sandy, there is a, a few uh, clay, mm -hmm. some stones, not as much as on the plateau, uh, on the rest of the, the estate. But um, <laughs> it's uh, very interesting about the, the, the finesse of the, the wines this place, uh, this vineyard gives. And uh, we do um, um, winemaking in barrel for this, mm -hmm. uh, this cuvee and there is uh, eight to nine months of aging. And uh, after that, we keep the bottle for many years uh, in the cellar uh, until the, the wine is ready to be drunk. Okay. This is why we sold now the 2007. Because um, you want to achieve a, 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 a little bit richer wine with the rest of Rosan and Clairet. Uh, um. Yeah, not, uh, this is not really the, 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 the evolution of the wine, in fact. It's, uh, we, we always want to have uh, uh, wines on the fruit, on the fresh fruit. And after that, with time, this fruit uh, has um, a slow evolution on dry fruits. And uh, the, the Rancio um, character is arriving but very late, okay. I mean, when the wine is 15 years old or mm -hmm. more, you know. There's a more silky um, um, mouth feel, eh? um, nice spicy, eh? the flowers, uh, there's a lot of things going on in the wine, eh? Yeah, yeah it's a <coughs> very complex cuvee. It's a wine who has um, a, a, a great um, expression and um, still a lot of freshness yeah. because um, this is um, because we really take care about the time for picking. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the 2007 vintage, there is no Bourboulin added. It's uh, only uh, Roussan and Claret. Well, and, and especially 2007 was a hot uh, vintage, but yeah, yeah. still you get the freshness yeah. in, in the that's wine. Right. Eh? That's right, that's right. This is a, a wine who is more a, a wine for food. Uh, the first cuvee, the, the classic cuvee, uh, maybe drink as aperitif wine mm -hmm. uh, or with, uh, with the meal, but this is really a wine for food, a very rich wine for that. Okay. So you do not have a big production, a large production of this? Uh... No, no, the production is small. Um, this is a single vineyard and uh, when we produce this uh, special cuvee, uh, this is 2,000 bottles, sometimes okay. 3,000. This is not uh, too much. It is uh, mm -hmm. indeed. So then it's the first, uh, uh, the red uh, is um, Cholo Lanert uh, red. Um, you do not put it uh, uh, traditional or anything, it's just uh, 
The base cuvée, yeah? Yes, that's right. This is the, 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 the classic cuvée of Chateau mm -hmm. Lanert. This is uh, called the Chateau Lanert. This is 2006 vintage. Um, <coughs> 2006 uh, has been a, a very nice vintage who mm -hmm. makes uh, very nice and soft tannins. Yeah. A lot of fruit. Uh, the, the vintage was uh, uh, about the, the, the forecast that was a little cool, cool weather during the summer and uh, that makes uh, wines with a lot of fruit, fruit and this is uh, now uh, a very, very pleasant wine. Because I think 06 is a little bit squeezed in between 05 and 07 and I think uh, 06 deserves um, um, and higher praise. Eh? That, that I like the style of sexy, more round. Eh? And the, the, what you say, a lot of fruit yeah. in general. Yeah, that's uh, that happens sometimes. A vintage who is uh, between two great vintages. Yeah. Uh, people uh, sometimes forgot that this vintage uh, exists, and many t most of the time th that may be a very very nice vintage too. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, interesting is now we have uh, this wine for sale and it's uh, very much appreciated yeah. in, uh, in, the, in mainly in the restaurants. Yeah. And that's, that's a good thing about wine and that's what I try to teach people and, and um, that not just go after the vintage but try the wine first and judge the wine in a glass. Eh? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Very spicy fruit, upfront fruit. What's uh, what's the spice here? The blend of uh, this? this is um, um, fifty-five percent black Grenache. Um, the Grenache uh, in uh, the, the South Rhone Valley is the main variety, grape variety, and the forest. Uh, fifty-five percent is a good uh, balance in in our wines. After that, we have uh, twenty percent uh, of Syrah, mm -hmm. and then twenty percent of Mourvèdre, and then the rest, the small rest. This is Senso uh, mainly, and after that, we have a little bit uh, Muscardin, Picardin, Cunoise, uh, but they are mixed in the in the vineyard. We don't know really uh, what's the amount, the percentage of those uh, last three grape varieties. Um, they are mainly in the old vines. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, here in Chateau Lanert, we have really a lot of old vines. The oldest vines uh, today uh, are 110 years old. And, um, and they are most of the time used in the last cuvee we are going to taste. But most, a lot of them are, are used also in the, in the, the classic cuvee. Mm -hmm. I know that the vineyards, you know, the soil um, um, around the chateau uh, is very complex. Eh? Yeah. In, in, in the book is a, um, is a drawing of, of uh, the soil of uh, uh, Lanert and you can see it's not just sand, clay or whatever. It, you see patches of this and patches of that and layers, different layers. and. It, it's uh, it, that makes that the wine um, uh, from this side tastes totally different from the other side of the vineyard. Eh? Yeah, that's right. We are lucky for that because this is a, a very uh, Chateau Lanert has a very very nice location. Uh, around half of the the vineyard is on the the, the top of the of the plateau mm -hmm. uh, on the plateau de la Croix, in fact, and uh, the the rest in uh, is in uh, on the the small the slight slopes who are going southwest mm -hmm. uh, and uh, with the, the different types of uh, soils you 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 say, mm -hmm. and that helps very much about the complexity of our wines, that, that's sure, yeah, you are right. About the red, mm -hmm. this is the same uh, 
um, philosophy about the, the picking. We are uh, taking care a lot to um, the, the, the time for the picking because we want to keep the fruit, to keep the freshness. Mm -hmm. We want to make uh, uh, wines with a very uh, soft and interesting tannins with a nice concentration. We are working uh, with a very small uh, yield. Mm -hmm. um, the old vines um, makes uh, naturally low yield and when we have uh, we are um, working on, um, we have some very young vines mm -hmm. and uh, for with these van, uh, young vines we are doing some time some green harvest to reduce the um, uh, the crop mm -hmm. and to keep the the nice concentration of the of the grapes okay so then um, we have uh, you cuvee uh, the cadets. Yes, this is the the, the last uh, cuvee. This is uh, cuvee de cadet uh, 2005. Mm -hmm. This uh, this cuvee uh, is made with uh, three different grape varieties, mm -hmm. around one third each: uh, Black Grenache, uh, Syrah, and Mourvèdre. It's a, a cuvee uh, who is made by a selection uh, in the vineyard. In fact, it's different um, uh, of the Clos de Beauvenir in white, where Beauvenir is a um, single vineyard. Cuvée des, des Cadettes is um, a selection in the, in the vineyard, and we every year we are going with the cellar master, with the, the uh, vineyard manager, we are going in the vineyard and we do a selection of the, the best uh, uh, grapes mm -hmm. by tasting. We taste every, uh, every uh, places, every old vines, and uh, we, do, we decide which um, uh, vine will go this year in the Cuvée des Cadettes. And then we do, um, we pick all the grapes, the three uh, grape varieties, the same day. Mm -hmm. We bring them in the tank, we ferment all the, the grape variety together. Um, the fermentation is done in a wooden tank. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we, the, the wood helps a little bit about the, the, the mariage, the, the, the wedding of the different uh, uh, characteristics of uh, the, the different grape varieties. And after that, after fermentation, the wine is aged in barrels, in new barrels for 12 months. And then after bottling, it's a little bit uh, like the Claude de Beauvenir. We keep the bottle for many years in the cellar to have um, a, a good uh, combination of the, of the aroma, a good complexity, a nice complexity. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is why we sold today the 2005 vintage. Um, because what's, what's typical or what's, what's special is, uh, is the high uh, percentage of uh, Bouvetteur and, 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 and of course the Syrah, but especially the, the Bouvetteur, and I think Bouvetteur is very important for structure. Eh? And, and yeah, it's a, a, a great uh, grape variety who makes uh, very nice tannins, very nice uh, structure in the wine and also tannins who have a very slow evolution. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a bottle who can be kept for, I know, I don't know, 50, 40, 50 years, yeah. no problem. And the wine will be very nice after this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you still, you still get the, 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 the fruit, the black fruits yeah. in the nose at first and not the oak. Eh? That's yeah, that's even when it sees some oak, but... That's <laughs> right. We are very attentive to that. <coughs> we want to have the, the fruit uh, at first, uh, in the tasting, we want to keep the fruit until uh, the, f the, 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 the bottle is open. And uh, um, this is, we, the, 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 the yield is very small on those uh, low vineyards who are making the cuvée des cadettes. And uh, there is plenty of uh, fruit uh, in, the, in the wine when it's young. The, 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 the berries are small, the, 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 the skin is very uh, nice when you um, eat, taste the, 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 the berries. This is a, an explosion of aroma, of fruity and on the fruit. Yeah. And uh, you can find it, uh, that in the, in the bottle later. Okay, that's mm. great.
Oh yeah, it's settling down. It, especially for 2005 already was a tannic year, yeah. Eh? Just... Yeah, that, that's right. And tannic, but and also uh, with the so nice tannins. Yeah. You know that was the, that was a, a warm vintage, but and um, the, the, the climatic conditions were were nice, and the the, the, the grapes were perfect about the quality of the grapes that was uh, impressive mm -hmm. and um, we feel that in this this wine where the the fruit is the the first impression and after that you have uh, the um, the spices coming and the the, the the aromas coming from the the aging also and uh, it's still uh, a young wine, even mm. if it is a six uh, or you, seven years old. But you can taste um, um, the different um, uh, grape varieties are blended already. Right? You do not taste separate the, no. the Ganache, separate the Mouvedre, separate no. the Syrah. It's already a unity eh, yeah. in, the, in the wine. That, that's right. This is. Uh, um, uh, why we are working uh, by um, uh, fermentation of the grape varieties together okay. uh, with this cuvee, but we try to do that most of the time with the, the, the classic cuvee too, because we know that this is a, a good way to have a good mariage of the aroma. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Christian, thank you for for this opportunity and for this uh, nice uh, entourage. Uh, we are in the wine cellar, mm -hmm. Chateau Lanette, uh, very romantic. Um, unfortunately, my wife is not here. So it's, uh, I just want to thank you for this uh, opportunity. Thank yeah. you for coming. And uh, that was um, a very nice uh, opportunity if, to, to speak about, about the wine and to uh, speak about our passion of the, of the wine. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Bye.